I am Isaac Thorpe, a fourth year administrative information management major that attends Florida A&M University. Uh, I would like to first thank the AAU Office of Clearwater for sponsoring my scholarship. Very appreciative. I've had just a tremendous experience uh, this weekend, and I'm very thankful uh, that they saw enough in me to contribute to that. What I believe the most challenging obstacle that is facing women today is having the self-esteem to believe in ourselves and our abilities and actually being able to tap into ourselves when living for our purpose. Uh, so what I believe to improve self-esteem is to consistently uh, surround ourselves with positive individuals, uh, continue to believe in our dreams, and uh, some and, and give ourselves good self-talks. So um, once we have the esteem, then we can build the confidence that's needed for us to lead or to nurture, uh, to be of service to our communities. And those things are very important. Um, most of the time too, at least for myself and I'm certain with other women. In my eyes, a leader is a person that believes in ethics and also the mission statement that they um, contribute to. You go to an organization, say I go to, um, for Florida a and for example, uh, excellence with caring. For me, uh, that means that I believe in that mission anytime uh, as far as like being a part of any uh, student organization, I'm actually the president of Phi Beta Lambda, which is a career development program. And so even though Phi Beta Lambda may have its own mission, we're still a part of Florida a and campus. So the Alpha Gamma chapter falls under excellence with caring. And that means to demonstrate uh, the excellence in service um, and creativity. Uh, in being a part of the community and being a part of the campus and doing what we can to help students to uh, receive everything that they can through their academic experience. And so with caring, we do that where we have a heart and we actually show compassion for our students and we show them that we really care for their success in academics and their career and their personal life in any way possible. So I feel as a leader, it's just um, understanding the mission statement, um, looking within yourself and seeing that you actually have the characteristics uh, to serve and be a part of that mission statement and also being able to understand what ethics are and function in that capacity. What I am going to go on to do, my ultimate goal is to either become a dean of students or to become a professor. So I first want to start off as a professor. I'm still deciding if I'm going to do for my content information management, a master's in that, and then go on to do my PhD in education leadership. Uh, I consistently also want to be involved in academic affairs, so I would like to be an advisor where I advise students and help to align them um, with their with their career, or excuse me, with their actual uh, career goals or with their major goals, uh, because I feel that it's very important when you come to the university, there's a, a lot going on. There is also quite a bit of distractions. And so uh, sometimes we get a little bit off track. Sometimes students follow what their parents would like for them to do, or they're not just, just not quite sure what it is that they want to do. So I feel that as an academic advisor, I can work on churning those uh, the creative side of those students and then taking a look and say, okay, well, what do you really feel that you're good at? Or making sure that you're really in a good major, if that you're even at, you know, a good, a good place with your schooling or, or just like the choice. Of course, I would try not to get myself in trouble as far as like whatever university that I'm at, you know, I don't want to deter the students, but I, I really do care uh, for them. And also, my goal is to work with young girls. I've actually put together um, my nonprofit organization, uh, United Sisters of America. I'm still working on building it. But it's basically going to be towards actually young teens and helping them to develop career school, uh, excuse me, with career development 
and uh, preparing them with college, helping them to decide which college they want to go to, or if college is not for them, what would be the best thing for them, if they're created within arts, as far as like theater or modeling or singing, putting them in alignment so that essentially that they have the resources, in particular focus on low income because a lot of times I've found that students uh, in low income situations don't have access to education or don't have access to resources. And then sometimes lack of the access is what um, contributes to like the problems with them being on the streets or they're acting out and uh, in need of attention because they really do want to know who they are. And so I want to help them to find that identity. Certainly, I definitely feel that. I actually attended an advocacy um, workshop yesterday, and I learned a lot in that there is also, uh, for lack of a better term, red tape there when you're moving forward with advocacy and say, um, you know, you want to stop sexual abuse against women. Um, there are different letters that you have to write. There are different organizations or things that may be going on your, on your campus, per se, where people may not be in alignment with your beliefs. And so you have to be ready to uh, do that. I also learn how to uh, do a press release or how to use social media to um, my advantage to uh, get out the mission statement or the messages that we need to advocate. Um, and so, and I also met someone very valuable that's also um, their SGA. They just became an SGA uh, president at their school. Uh, they have a phenomenal strive to help international women who are in abusive situations uh, due to immigration. And so I've been inspired by that person. I feel that that's a mutual contact because uh, we have something in alignment with wanting to uh, assist women or assist young people. And so I definitely feel that was value, um, excuse me, a valuable experience uh, to have at this conference.